Hey, what's up? It's Elizabeth Council of Low Carbon. On this episode, we're gonna do Walmart keto snacks to go for quick grabbies. Coming up next. Hey, it's Elizabeth Council of Low Carb. I've lost 50 pounds through keto and intermittent fasting. And on today's episode, we're gonna talk about Walmart keto snacks that are to go. Taking a little detour, they have Epsom salts for five dollars for the magnesium. This is a great buy for an eight pound bag, totally gonna grab it. So, at the end of this video, you'll be able to walk away knowing what can I just grab and eat leaving out of the Walmart parking lot. Okay, so let's dive into everything that I got today and a little bit about the price breakdown and a little bit about the macros that I got them with. First, so, the first snack that I have is some salami. This totally could just be eaten by itself. The salami costs $3.98 for the entire package. Um, there's literally you could have there's five ounces in here it costs 3.98 so if you had half of that for 2.5 servings or 2.5 ounces that could would be considered a serving um, and that would be two dollars and fifty cents so and it's two net carbs per ounce so 2.5 ounces with that would be five net carbs for 2.5 ounces, which is kind of a lot. It's kind of a lot. And what I suggest, here's my little cheat sheet on the back, is if it says one ounce on it, it's just literally breaking it off by the package size and then eyeballing to make sure that that's actually a realistic package size amount, that would be good. Sometimes I have this just by itself, but usually what I like to do, if I'm able to be near a microwave, pop it in the microwave, if not just straight up, having it with some guacamole. So this was one of my other quick snacks to go. It was reduced for clearance for $2 for some reason. I don't know why. Um, it's normally $4, but there's six packs in here. And with the clearance pricing, uh, again, I don't know why, but it's fresh guacamole, which literally was two net carbs per little container. There's no creepy carbs in here. The ingredients look really great. And that's one thing I always suggest if you're getting some sort of food package, double check the ingredients. This, I would highly recommend. I think that this would be great because you're getting the extra added fats into it. So it's two net carbs, um, one gram of protein, seven grams of fat, 90 calories. I don't have calories per Dr. Fung. It's about insulin management. So for me, the most important thing are the fat grams, the protein grams, and of course the net carbs. So here, there's six of them. You could just pop this into the refrigerator once you got to your destination, but you could take that one cup and then scoop it with a salami. Awesome keto easy snack that you can have to go grab it and eat it. The next thing that I got, which is super, super simple, we've actually already eaten it. It was the hard boiled egg packages. Okay, another awesome snack was these two pack of eggs. These eggs are awesome, having 5.5 grams of protein in them. Um, in terms of fat, 3.5 grams. Um, in terms of net carbs, no net carbs. These are a great source. And they even come with salt and pepper packets, which is really, really nice um, just to kind of grab and go. Cost a dollar fifteen for two hard-boiled eggs in there. Obviously, it's way less expensive. That could buy you a whole dozen of eggs and make your own. But for two on the go, easy breezy. It came with salt and pepper packets too, which is really awesome as a great snack. The next snack that I got, and I've shown this before, but I have to give a quick shot for my pickles. Easy, super super simple snack. You could grab the whole four pack. Just have a quick little kosher petite pickle, standard go-to. The next snack that I got was these. These were at the front of the store. They were radishes. They're on clearance for $1.33. Um, for some reason, I don't know why they're on clearance, but these little radish coins can be used as chips that I bought a tub of cream cheese with it. Um, you can't see because of the light. Put the light on that. But it's the um, just standard Philadelphia cream cheese. Take the cream cheese. If you use two tablespoons, it is two net carbs. So what I like to do is kind of eyeball it or put it in a portion bag. Even if I'm sitting in my car, I may have, a, I usually keep in my door some Ziploc bags. So then that way I'm not overeating. I have my portion sizes available. Two tablespoons of cream cheese, two net carbs. And then of course with the radishes, these are one ounce is one net carb for the radish coins. You can dip them in somewhat like chips, chips and dip, and have those together. You could take your cream cheese and use it with your salami as a dipper. 
Ooh, that would be delicious. Or you could take your radish coins and dip it with your guacamole, little itty bitty pack, the 33 cent pack. You could do either or of those. A great, easy, quick, low carb snack to have. In addition, next thing that I got was along the similar concept was just a pack of um, mushrooms. And the mushrooms are one net carb for three ounces. And I would have that with some guacamole. I got a big tub of guacamole. Um, this was one net carb per two tablespoons. Bada bing, bada boom. Easy dip. If you're with your family, you could give some to the kids, put them in a little bowl, plop a few uh, tablespoon or two onto your plate with the guac. It's really easy, great fats. And the guacamole, there's one gram of protein, and then the fats are four grams of fat per two tablespoons. Win, win, win. The next snack that I got was, y'all know I love me some wisps. These are great. My little two-year-old boy loves these. Um, they are only one net carb per serving, and there's two servings in this bag. However, this bag costs almost three bucks, so having a serving size of it, it's $1.50 per half parcel. Just thinking about that with snacks. And one thing I do like to say and include as my disclaimer, because someone I'm sure will write in the comments below, is that snacks for keto, ideally you want to do intermittent fasting with keto. And having snacks is probably should be the exception to the rule and not the rule every day, at least in my humble opinion, per Dr. Fung, because of the insulin management. Even if you're not diabetic, the insulin management, and I'm going to put the book I'm referencing, The Complete Guide to Fasting, down in the description comments below. For me, it was life-changing, Dr. Fung talking about this concept. So these snacks are awesome, and if you need them in a pinch, they're great, but I first and foremost, first and foremost encourage you to have intermittent fasting or go longer windows in between having your meals versus having like three meals and two snacks, getting away from the standard American diet. So here's the WISP. The other thing that I would, so back to the regularly scheduled program, here's with the WISP. I also like having these as a dipper again, kind of like chips and dip. Having these with the cream cheese, two tablespoons is one, is two, two tablespoons is one net carb. Two tablespoons is two net carbs, so one tablespoon is one net carb. You can have it kind of like chips and dip. The next thing I got was Brazilian nuts. These were near the front of the store. I love these because they're super, super simple. They're a fourth a cup of nuts, which is this is the serving size of, what does a fourth a cup look like? That's what it looks like. That is the serving size. Or in a plastic baggie, I've already measured it out because I have to measure nuts or I will eat too many of them. So a fourth a cup, that's what this looks like. This was $4.98 for this whole bag. Um, there was five servings, so that means a, one net carb per fourth a cup. And it was a dollar per bag, a dollar per fourth a cup. So that's what it looks like. Or like this. Easy peasy. My two-year-old loves these too. I break them up to him. I break these up for him prior to giving them to him though. Just so it's not a choke risk. But these are great. Easy snack. And in terms of so one net carb for 19, excuse me. One net carb, 19 grams of fat and uh, four grams of protein. Awesome win! And this was near the front of the store too. Next thing that I got was this package. It was hard cooked egg, salami, and provolone. This has one net carb for the whole package, 17 grams of protein, and 19 grams of fat. And this package costs $2.78 per package for this whole thing. It's not that big of a portion size, that's the only problem. <laughs> is that there's a little bit of salami, a little bit of cheese, and then the egg down there below, which is super, super petite. It's not that much, y'all. And for almost three bucks, you could quite frankly go get something for more volume, more amount, and the meat looks a little suspicious. Oh my gosh, it says you sell by June 30th. Today's July the 8th. Those people. So always check your expiration dates because about something that no wonder the salami looks a little rancid. I'm going to go throw that away now. That concerns me. It's like nine days past the use by date. It's not even the sell by date. The salami looks a little stank. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this over here. Get that out of here. The next thing that I got that I do love, I love these suckers. Um, and I've shown them in other videos, the Panino, I can't say that right, Panino. These are great. This did cost um, almost five bucks for the, back, the packaging. It's two servings, which was four pieces. Um, there's two of them in package, meaning it's $2.50 per four pieces. So each piece, what is that? Let's do the math on that. Is like 60 cents per stick. These things are delicious, y'all. I love them. And there's a little bit of dextrose, um, which makes it not super, super good, but that kind of comes with the territory with some pepperonis and salamis. 
These things are great, but that price tag for a quick snack, you pay the price tag for a quick snack. They're really, really good though, and totally yummy. Net carbs, two net carbs for four sticks, 25 grams of fat, and 17 grams of protein. That's my number one pick. This is the MVP. And it's like Eli Manning, MVP. Just teasing for you football fans out there. Just teasing. The next thing that I got was this Hormel snack tray platter. If you have kids, it's an easy snack. Of course, we would not eat the crackers. Just throw those away or don't make them or something. But it has the pepperoni and the cheese. It makes it a super, super easy snack. If you're in your car, you can literally just pluck this out. But in terms of the pepperoni, it has zero net carbs for eight slices of the pepperoni. Um, it has five grams of protein and 13 grams of fat. The cheese is Sargento, and for seven slices of the cheese, it was one carb, 10 grams of fat, and seven grams of protein. Easy breezy, beautiful Hormel pepperoni. Right there. Just obviously don't take out the, the crackers. We are rocking and rolling, guys. The last and final thing that I have is I saved the best for last. I already gave you my MVP, but this is the next best thing. Um, but first, if you guys haven't heard about my Crush It With Counter series, it's in the description link below, how I've crushed it past my weight loss style and how you can too. Right now it's on super, super sale. I'm running a special um, for the summer in 2018 when this is being filmed, but you can always get the replay of it. It's my best work yet of how I've lost over 50 pounds through keto and intermittent fasting. Um, it's down below. And also, of course, if you like this video, make sure you click like, subscribe, and check out my daily blog right here. All right, let's dive into the last thing that I got. I got several things, and it was cheese. Now let me give you the breakdown on the cheese, y'all. This thing right here was almost six bucks for the baby bell. So per serving, what is that, two, four? There's 10 pieces, 12 pieces of cheese in here for six bucks. So that makes 50 cents per cheese wheel. Now if you're okay with that, that's cool. Just as long as we're clear that you could get this cheese way cheaper, even getting a block of cheese, cutting it yourself and cutting the cheese. So here, this was a great source if you just need something to grab, particularly if you have kids. My kids, my son loves peeling this. He loves eating it. Also had this, this was the fresh mozzarella. They have individual little portions. Here's the bag. How cute is that? It's so adorable. But these are super, super cute, super, super easy. Again, great snack for kids. In the bag of all of these, um, there was 10 servings, the whole bag of the fresh mozzarella, which looks really good. Really, really, really good. So these are a great alternative source. The best option out of all of them were these cheese sticks. However, they're pepper jack cheese sticks. I had to run to the back of the store to get them. Who wants to really do that if you're just grabbing something to go? But it is a to-go option if you haul it to the back of the store. There's 12 cheese sticks per bag in here. This thing was, what, $3.57? There's 12 of them in there, so that makes it off the top of my head, what, 40 cents per cheese stick? They're 0.75 ounces per cheese stick. So that makes to zero net carbs, um, five grams of protein, six grams of fat. Easy, quick snack, but you do have to run to the back of the store. This one was near the very front of the store. Literally, you could buzz in like two feet into the store and then buzz out to check out. And same thing with these delicious fresh mozzarella stacking cheese bowls. Delicious. So those are all of my snacks. Hopefully these to-go quick grabbies were good for you. But again, the disclaimer of if you're doing intermittent fasting, try to, to eat within an eating window and then have a fasting window. Way better health benefits, but sometimes life happens. Or if you're just starting a keto diet and need a little extra push along, I know I did. I certainly subscribed to that box. But getting into more intermittent fasting has revolutionized my weight loss. So if you like this video, make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and also check out my Crush It With Countess weight loss series of where I've lost 50 pounds, more than that, through intermittent fasting and the keto diet. See you soon, bye. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you click like, and make sure you click subscribe, and check out my daily blog, countesslowcarb.com. Oh my gosh, I'm cracking up because I could not find my car. I've literally been losing around the Walmart parking lot for the past five minutes trying to figure out where I parked. Mom problems. It's super, super simple. It's the hard boiled egg packages, which we've already eaten. And there's egg juice dripping on me. Egg